what up what up what up in this video we are going to basically walk through this article to learn how you can request a credit line increase with your chase credit card bam 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 and um you know i had actually uh made a video on how to request a credit line increase on your capital one credit card and figured you know what i gotta take care of my people that uh, have a chase card in which my chase card is actually my go-to card and uh it only makes sense i make a video for this one as well so here we are and i'm gonna throw this bad boy back in my wallet before i lose it it's never fun when you misplace your credit card so I had, a uh, yeah, I actually had looked, I was going to make this video like three months ago or something. And, uh, initially when I was going to do it, um, there randomly aren't really any, like, there's not much content that speaks to getting a credit line increase with Chase. And, um, this article actually came out after back in August. Now it's a little while that it came out now, but, um, when I initially was, looking this up this article wasn't out so um instead of me just kind of saying the key point here i'm gonna just go through this article because that they actually do touch on a few other um helpful uh pointers and, and uh, things that you guys might find beneficial for you um and you know of course i'm not going to read everything but i will have a link to this article down below for you guys if you do want to check it out and go through the whole thing on your own but basically you know credit cards we all know how important uh, or I should say helpful a credit card can be everyone here on my channel I know you guys know by now to pay off your credit card in full every month don't carry that balance over we don't want that you want to maximize the the, the usage of your credit card in terms of the reward points that is why we are using credit cards. Of course, it's it's helpful in emergency situations, but we have our emergency fund for those emergencies. Our credit card is simply for the reward points. At least from my perspective, that's all I'm that's that's my main goal, my main focus, the main reason I use a credit card. Of course, it helps with your credit limit and um, you know, uh, your your credit uh, score which will essentially allow you to get lower interest rates on other things when uh you know check out credit met whether it's you know a loan for an automobile a mortgage whatever but when it comes to a credit card we want this bad boy to be paid in full but again and as they kind of jump into over here um you know you might still want to increase your credit card uh, limit which will help with again your credit card or uh, your credit score because of the credit limit that you have access to now the goal or the point there while while you do want to increase it you do want to keep the actual util utilization down they say 30 percent. i say if you can put it at most up to 15 percent, i think that's a better bet because then it'll be easier for you to pay it off and, um, you know, when you get it'll go up to 30%, you're usually carrying over a balance. Again, when you do that, you're paying interest. We don't want to pay that. We don't want to deal with any of that. We want to we want to be debt free, stay debt free. And yes, use it, put that card to use, which helps with your credit score, but pay it off in full every time, every month, uh, whenever you use it, just get those reward points. Um, <clears throat> now, some of you we're gonna like i said just jump right into this article because i thought um it does a they kind of touch on a few different things too um so before you apply for a credit increase before you decide to increase your credit limit with chase it's worth asking yourself the following three questions what is your current credit limit how much credit is Chase currently giving you? Log into your Chase account and check your credit limit on each of your Chase credit cards. Your total credit limit should appear alongside the rest of your credit card information. If you have trouble finding your credit limit, you can always calculate it by adding your current balance to your available credit. How much 
uh, credit do you want? Once you know your credit current uh, your current credit limit with Chase, it's time to ask yourself how much credit you want. In general, it's a bad idea to ask Chase to significantly increase your credit limit. Going from five thousand to six thousand, uh, for example, is better than going from five thousand to ten thousand. Have a reasonable number in mind and be prepared to back up your request with proof you've been using your chase credit cards reason responsibly if you have a history of of uh, on-time payments for example you might be more likely to score an increase with chase and are you eligible for an increase there are two big factors that help determine eligibility for chase credit limit increase your account history and credit score if you've only had your credit uh, your chase credit card for a few months you probably won't be eligible for a credit limit increase try to wait at least six months before contacting chase with your request it's also a good idea to check your credit score before uh, applying for a limit increase your request is more likely to be successful if you have good or excellent credit so take your time to build your credit score if you find yourself below the threshold and remember that any credit limit request is likely to come with a hard pull to your credit, which might drop your score by up to 10 points. So don't jump in here and just think, all right, you know, I watched this video with Ace saying I could get me, you know, I can increase my Chase credit score. And, you know, he said, all I like, all I got to do is call him up and they will, like it says, you'd likely to come with a hard pull to your credit and um, that will drop your score by potentially up to 10 points. So if your credit score is not good, check out my other video that I made. Um, I'll post it up above my head somewhere up here um, in which that will help uh, kind of explain or, or introduce you to my other credit card that uh, I initially got that I still use to this day, um, still have it, uh, that helped me with improving my credit score, which which then positioned me to get this current credit card, which again is all about the reward points. So um, don't just jump in here. If your credit score is not great, I had, you know, it's going to take time to work, you know, build it up again, get a different credit card and just pay it off in full. Do not carry over any balance. Don't go up to 30%. Like they say in usage, go up to 10% or 15% because then it'll be easier to pay it off in full at the end of the month or, you know, before the end of the month or sooner than later. Um, and, you know, I actually, like I said, I have this credit card. I didn't mention this yet, um, but, you know, I am uh, 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 in a position where I don't really, I mean, I don't need an increase anymore because they already gave me an increase. And this article touches on you know, uh, as you can see down at the bottom, four ways to increase your credit limit with Chase. And they touch on uh, the way that my increase came about. Um, and so I'm, I'm in a good position where I don't really need an increase, at least not with this particular card. If I get an increase, I would want it to be on, you know, my other card. And I have like two or three other cards, maybe four other cards. Um, and so yeah, I mean, I don't need an increase on this particular card, but I will say um, the way I was able to get an increase is among the four ways that they mentioned coming up right now. So if you want Chase to increase your credit limit, you can always ask, but that isn't the only way to increase your limit. Here are four ways to boost your Chase credit limit and increase your purchasing power. So number one, apply for a new Chase card. Sometimes the easiest way to increase your limit, your credit limit, is to apply for a new credit card. Opening up a new Chase credit card won't increase the credit limit on your old Chase cards, but it'll give you an additional line of credit to use. Having that extra available credit might even increase your credit score. And there are a lot of advantages to having multiple credit cards, including the ability to earn multiple signup bonuses. That said, keep Chase's 524 uh, rule in mind before you apply. If you've already taken out five credit cards in the past 24 months, regardless of whether those cards were from Chase or another issuer, Chase is likely to turn down your application. I never knew that. 
Um, and you know, I'm not going to be getting out any more cards, but if you're someone who is all about collecting cards and whatnot, keep this in mind. So of course, number one is just apply for a new chase card. Number two is request a credit limit increase. If you like to request a credit limit increase, call the number on the back of your credit of your chase credit card currently. Okay, so at the back of your Chase credit card, you will see a number that is at the bottom. It's a 1-800 number. Um, I will read it to you guys. At least my number that I see right now as of uh, November 28, uh, 2018, 2020, um, 1-800-524-3880. Again, that's 1-800-524-3880 if you are here in the U.S. And um, yeah, so you will call the number on the back of your Chase credit card. Currently, Chase credit increase requests can only be, be completed over the phone. You cannot request a credit increase online. So unlike Capital One, which I showed you in my uh, other video, maybe I'll post a link above my head again, um, or down in the description area on how to increase it with Capital One, you log into your um, account, go into the portal, into your dashboard area, and it's fairly easy. It's like maybe two steps, three steps that you would take to request um, there. And uh, for some reason, Chase decided, hey, we want to make this um, a little more uh, time consumer or difficult, whatever you want to call it. But basically, as they're saying, uh, you cannot request a credit increase online. So be prepared to discuss the credit limit you'd like Chase to apply to your account as well as your current income, employment status, and the reasons for requesting more credit. This is your opportunity to prove you can manage your increased line of credit re responsibly, so be prepared. And again, as they're saying, I mean, just when you call up, uh, ultimately know why you're calling for a credit increase. Um, you know, uh, and, and know what your current income employment status reasons for requesting more credit ultimately just know your situation don't call up just being like completely clueless about what's going on why you're even asking for more money um and and you should be in good standing when you do uh make this request of course because like i mentioned above it might potentially affect your credit score so keep that in mind Number three, receive an automatic credit limit increase. Chase cardholders in good standing may occasionally receive an automatic credit limit increase. To increase your odds of earning an automatic limit increase from Chase, make sure you manage your current Chase credit accounts responsibly. Make all of your payments on time, avoid carrying high balances, and so on. You can also boost your odds of earning an automatic credit limit increase by updating your income with Chase. If you recently got a promotion, took a new job, or otherwise increase your income, let Chase know. You might get a credit limit increase as a result. And number three, this receive an automatic credit limit increase was actually how I received my increase. I think it was a combination of the top portion as well as that bottom portion. Um, you know, primarily uh, and I think it was, I'm, I'm trying to, I can't remember exactly. I know it was definitely the top portion that played a factor because I was just doing really well. I was paying for at least a year, maybe two years, um, consistently on time, never really, you know, I, I maybe got my usage up high, but I paid it off in full. So like I said, I always paid it in full. I didn't really carry balances over or anything like that. If I did, it wasn't high as it says in that that last sentence there, uh, make all of your payments on time, avoid carrying high balances. Um, so if I did carry a balance, it was low, it was not high. Um, but then I think it might have also been around the time when I did get a small little promotion at work, potentially, because um, it also might have been around the time when I stopped working. So I can't really remember exactly. And I wish there was a way for me to figure that out. Um, I mean, I might have an email that says it, um, which I could potentially look, but I'm not right now. But if I do, I will look after. And if I do find it, I will maybe leave a comment down below or something in the description area. Um, but either way, definitely, I think the key part is just playing, paying consistently, 
paying um, where your account is in good standing. And if you do have a balance, keep it low. And just, you know, again, consistent, consistent, consistent. Um, and the more you are being consistent, the more they're going to recognize it and see it and say, okay, this person's actually worthy of a credit limit increase. Maybe that will encourage or entice them to use more, you know, to spend more because they have access to more money, a larger credit limit. Um, and I said, like I was saying, saying before, if you keep that 30% or in my case, 15 or 10% rule in mind, as you, if they increase your, your usage, that means you will have, or limit, that means you will have um, a larger usage amount that you can then spend up to that 10, 15%, but you don't really want to. And the goal or the key is to continue spending the same amount that you previously were spending that you were using on that card, which will again, make it easier, keep it simple when it comes to paying off your balance in full. So keeping things moving along that number four, down here is respond to a targeted credit limit increase offer. Sometimes Chase will automatically increase your credit limit. Other times Chase will ask you if you'd like a credit limit increase. Responding to these targeted credit limit increase offers is a great way to build your credit. These kind of offers should appear when you log into Chase account, though you may also get an email notifying you of a new or outstanding offer. Accept the offer and the increased credit limit is automatically applied to your account. And, um, you know, these main four points here, when it comes to getting your increase, uh, credit limit on your uh, chase credit card, uh, pretty much, I mean, I'll sum it up. Um, unfortunately, like I said, you cannot do it on your own online, like you can with capital one, maybe some of these other cards as well, but, um, at least you do have a few different options when it comes to. Uh, going about getting an increase. Now, they do have some additional, you know, answers in here to some other questions that some of you guys might be wondering. Um, I will in, uh, include a link to this article down below so you guys can check it out. You know, how long does the credit line increase take? Answers thrown in there in the mix. How much of a credit uh, limit should I be using? Again, this is 30%. I believe you should think 10, 15%. Um, at most, what to do if your request is denied, and so on and so on. So um, this is a good article that has some uh, some other important information in here that you guys might want to consider checking out. I will improve the, improve include a link uh, to this article down below in the description area for you guys to check it out um, in case you want to learn more. Um, so there you guys have it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell after you hit the subscribe button so that you can you know, that way you can stay up to date on all of my latest videos, including other credit card and financial wellness and educational videos. Uh, and, you know, just kind of tracking that financial uh, journey as uh, we, we kind of continue making our way towards uh, that financial independence and financial freedom. And I keep, I started saying it recently, but I got to start like a, a thousand air, you know, thousand air club, a thousand air, because everyone talks about being a millionaire, 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 millionaire. Well, when you're someone like myself who was in debt thousands and thousands of dollars and working to become completely debt free now building up from there hey becoming a, a thousand there seems like a pretty big deal you know i i i can roll with it i feel like i can i can rock with that i don't be becoming a millionaire is obviously you know part of the goal as well i want to become a billionaire in which hey to get there you have to become a thousand there and then you have to become a millionaire and so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe it's setting the bar too low. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. If you think I might be onto something, cause I don't feel like anyone's, you know, rocking with the thousand there, you know, that slogan or, or saying whatever you want to call it. Um, but j just an idea. I kind of started saying it recently and I'm, it's, I'm still watering the idea and just letting it kind of marinate a bit. We'll, we'll see what happens if anything comes of it. But, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. If you haven't yet, it does help me. It does help the uh, YouTube algorithm. So other people that are interested or looking for answers when it comes to increasing their credit limit on their Chase credit card, will have a better chance to come across this video. And lastly, as I mentioned, leave a comment down below, letting me know what you think about becoming a thousandaire.
Yeah. Yeah. That was a deal. I like it. I think it's something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys already know. I got to keep it moving. I got to get on at least another video today. And, uh, you know, I think I have somewhat of a busy schedule this week. So we're going to keep grinding, keep it moving over here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.